Yes, this is tea, but I ain't spilling it. <laughs> Hello. Um, oh my goodness. It's been like 10 months since I've made a new video uh, for my YouTube channel. If you don't know, uh, I changed it. I changed the name. It's not Random Studios anymore. It's uh, now Ryan Morrow. That's my name. That's me. Hi, I'm Ryan. <laughs> Hi, I'm my name. Basically, this isn't a studio. My whole, I'm just like a boy sitting in his bedroom making a video. So it's kind of cringy in a way to call it that. So I decided to just call it my name. Yes, my, my channel is called my name. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. My name is Ryan Morrow. And obviously that's what I called my channel. So yeah, uh, welcome. If you're uh, hopping on here, if you're popping on this video, taking your mouse and going <coughs> clicking, that was, my, that was my click noise, if you didn't know that. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you stay till the end because we have quite a doozy coming up. Firstly, let's do a little uh, preface, um, cause you know, we're kind of like, we're like a book over here. <laughs> uh. Today, we're gonna be watching a show from a children's television channel that I watched long ago and absolutely adored, okay? This channel is called YTV. If you live in Canada, YTV is basically like the kids version of Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and it was awesome. <laughs> and today we're going to be taking a quick gander. <laughs> we're going to be taking a quick gander at a show that I really liked when I was young. Now I watched this show a long time ago when I was young. Now I'm just like an old fart, all right? I, I got gray hair coming in, my back's, my back's just going. You know, I can't do the things that I used to do. I'm telling my grandkids about the days when I used to watch this show, okay? I'm, I'm really old right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm mega old right now. <laughs> Basically, this show was very important in my childhood. It was great entertainment at the time. We're gonna take a quick look at uh, at this show and, and basically what it was. The show, and bear with me, is called Zoinked. I repeat, Zoinked. <laughs> Let's read about it. Zoinked was a children's television game show that started on March 15th, 2012 and ended on August 20th, 2013, appearing on Canadian cable channel YTV. So obviously this show lasted one season, uh, or sorry, two seasons, which I was really uh, kind of sad about to be completely honest with you because I really enjoyed this show. And also 2012, I, let me do the math. I actually can't do the math for some reason. I think this summer vacation has completely drained the school out of me. One plus one, you say? I don't know. <laughs> Summary, this talent show had kids as the judges and adults as the entertainers. Okay, so kids are basically the judges of this show. And that's where this show is kind of strange in a way. It's kids judging adults and they're not judging them based on their talent they're judging them based on how zany they can appear or how crazy they are or if they can make them laugh the winner at the end wins the title of zoink master and a thousand dollars zoink master that's something you know what slap that on your resume slap that on that resume you'll be hired at every law firm in the county what makes me laugh is that the show had 28 episodes. They gave out $1,000 per episode, which meant that $28,000 was given in the course of this entire show. Let's take a look at this show because I feel like it is necessary um, to actually watch an episode just so you know exactly what I'm talking about and you know why I like this show as a child. Play it. Hey, this is Zoink. I did not consent for him to be that close to the camera. Could you imagine like <laughs> first time kids clicking on this show and the host is like this close to the camera? It's like, uh, it's, it's just jarring <laughs> how close he is to the camera. <laughs> Let's meet the kids that will decide their fate. The judges! These 
quirky, she's blonde, but if you don't make her laugh, she'll dump goo on your head. Give it up for Natalie! That's such a strange way to introduce somebody. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, can you imagine walking into a job interview and just like sitting down and be like, yo, I'm perky, I'm blonde, and if you don't entertain me, I'll dump a bucket of goo on your head, all right? I've got five words for the competitors. Be zany or be zoinked. They call him wise because he has a lot in common with old people. He has wisdom, he can give you guidance, and he falls asleep on the bus. Give it up for wise. <laughs> Your performance makes Adam look cool. You're gonna get Zoe. <laughs> I should tell you that Alexa's name only sounds like Alaska. I can assure you she is not big, vast, cold, close to Russia, or filled with bears. Well, I hope she isn't filled with bears. Give it up for Alexa. Contestants out there, are you dressed for success? Is your act to impress? I hope so. Or be zoinked! She was definitely valedictorian at her high school. I can see it. You see the way she, everyone else was like, hey, you know, entertain me or whatever. And she just came on and be like, honorable people of zoinked. <laughs> like she came on with pizzazz, style, royalty, maturity, and valedictorianism. That's a religion. This last judge knows karate and knows how to fence. Did he say uh, he knows how to fence? Like put up a fence? Or does fence mean something else? What does fence mean? Does, does, does he know how to put up fences? I don't, you know what? We'll just leave it. He's the only sword fighting ninja with a bedtime. Give it up for Neil. To zoink or not to zoink? That's the real question. I'm just wondering what Shakespeare's reaction to that would have been. To zoink or not to zoink? That is the question. Dude would have risen right out of his grave and be like, Are you serious right now? Here are the rules. Each kooky grown-up performer has only one minute to entertain our kid judges. One zoink, you better up the zany. Two zoinks, you are in hot water. And if you get three zoinks before your time is out, you are out of here. And you will leave the stage looking very messy. If a judge thinks you're zany, they'll give you points. The performer with the most points at the end of the show wins 20,000 nickels. <laughs> Do you guys want to get this show started or what? Okay, so there you go. Those are the rules of the show. Make sure you keep them locked in your head. Lock them in there, go with the key. Throw the key away, you're not going to need it because these rules will save you for the rest of your life, okay? If you get attacked by a bear, just remember, Zoink taught you how to get away. <laughs> Let's meet our first contestant. I mean, why don't we? You will never guess who our first guest really is. No, really. You'll never guess. Give it up for Cam Steel. <laughs> this dude's busting out his like his tightest dance moves right now. Like he's he's up there. By the way, I'm gonna have to probably insert different music in there. They are playing Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO, if you remember those guys. So I'm definitely not gonna be able to put that onto YouTube or else this video will get copyright striked. But this dude's pulling out his tightest dance moves. I don't really understand this the other guy's thing. Like why does he have a mask on? I mean he looks pretty cool. I, he looks like, you know, he could fit in with the, you know, Sesame Street or something. He's like one of the Sesame Street guys. You know, he's like Big Bird. You know, he fits right in. Look at him. He just just fits right in. But I, it's like it, it's just kind of a strange thing. Also, where do you get a mask like that? I don't know. Either way, let's keep going. Okay, that's the amount of balls that comes out of that thing. That this like look at the size of this guy's gargantuan feet on this costume. Like. Those balls, those little ping pong balls are not going to affect him. Look at these, he's shuffling, he's hand sand. This guy is indestructible. He's invincible. Even with the ping pong balls on the floor. I don't even think we're looking at a Sesame Street character. I think we're looking at the next Avenger. Okay? 
uh, <laughs> Dr. Dance, okay? Dr. Strange's sidekick. Makes it the minute. <laughs> Terrible high fives. Zoink that high five. Natalie, you like that. He was making a fool of himself. It was hilarious. That's what this show's all about. Dumb things. <laughs> he knows. This host knows. This host is like, that's what this show's about. Dumb things. All right, let's move on to our next contestant. I feel like I'm hosting this show now. Look at me. This next act is J-Robes, a jump rope group from Alberta. I like that name, but would much prefer if they used the longer version. Jennifer Ropez. Yep, Jennifer Ropez. That personality we all know and love. <laughs> Give it up for J-Robes. Okay, how exactly do you jump rope with your butt? How thick? <laughs> okay, wait, let's, let's rephrase that. How, how much mass <laughs> does there have to be in order for you to be able to do that? Wow, how does he do that? I, I really have no idea. Uh, why would they zoink that? That's so zany. Dude's jumping over a skipping rope with his ass. <laughs> That's literally the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Nothing I've seen is as cool as that. Also, can we just observe the fact that this guy jumped over his partner to try to avoid the goo? Let, let's, let's see this again. and he kept skipping rope. Okay, this is like a criminal case now, okay? <laughs> this guy probably feels so guilty about jumping over his partner for her to get the goo instead of him. I don't like him anymore. I don't care if he jumped over a, a skipping rope with his butt, I don't care. That's not the coolest thing I've ever seen. The coolest thing I've ever seen is kindness. And clearly he didn't demonstrate it that day when he jumped over his partner for her to get the goo. She, she's looking at her hands like, what is going on right now? What is on me? Nice skipping, J-Ropes. Too bad you've skipped being zany. Oof. 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 Feel that... Feel that tight roast in the heart. Too bad you skipped being zany. Oof. Feel that tight roast in the heart. The crowd loved you. I'm sorry, you guys, but you've been zoinked. Please, backstage to you. Well, we have to clean up this mess, so put your hands together for the Zoink Goo Crew! Oh my goodness, yes! So there was this troop of janitors who would come on and clean up the goo on the stage, which in general is a very strange idea. But the funny thing is, because kids' attention spans are so short, equivalent to probably like a goldfish, like five seconds. This goo crew essentially, their segment of them cleaning up the stage lasted five seconds, okay? At max, like it was quick. It's a very quick segment. But for the amount of goo that was put on the stage, it would take a pretty long time to clean all that up. So all I'm thinking about is this like random group of janitors just coming on the stage and for like 10 minutes straight, just mopping up goo while the entire audience is silent. I don't know why, this is such a weird image to me. There's a lot more zany and not so zany to come on Zoink, so don't you dare leave. Wow, that was like a, that was, that was like a threat. <laughs> it's like, it's like, don't leave my show. Don't, you, don't leave my show. You know what happens when you leave my show? I'm gonna goo you. I'll find a way. I'll, I'll come right down there with a bucket of goo. Wah. Right over your head. Won't see, you won't see me coming. I'm Adam Christie. 
more like Adam Goopy. <laughs> so basically, uh, there's a guy that comes on after the commercial break and he doesn't get zoinked per se. He's, he's a good guy. He does a bunch of magic tricks, but I'm not going to show it just because it's whatever. I want to show the people that got gooed. All right. This is, this is why we're here. <laughs> Folks, the last name B. Benedictus means looks funny. Whereas my last name, Christy, means one who pours junk on terrible performers. Yes. The name Christy meaning one who pours junk on terrible performers. Hopefully he doesn't feel my wrath. Joseph D. Benedictus. Hey everyone, how's it going? Everyone who wants to clap along, please don't, it'll really mess me up, all right? I'm kidding, here we go. Nobody laughed at that? That is so funny, actually. That's hilarious. Could you imagine, like, Ed Sheeran coming up and be like, hey, 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 nobody clap, okay? I hate it. <laughs> it's called the simple things. I walk down to the street and it's colder than I thought. My face was frozen, my nose was running. You know what? He's a trooper. He's still singing. He's still uh, still having a good time. I don't know what song he's singing there. I don't know if it's an original. Uh, either way, I want to hear a full length version. Slap that on Spotify right now. I'll take a listen every night. That's four zoinks. How does it feel? I'm scared a little. You're scared? Oh, he's scared. Wise, in a British accent. I thought that you were a good guitarist, but we're looking for someone who made it funny or does something unique. And nothing about your performance was unique. Go backstage and get away from kids for a second. You're surrounded by them right now. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hey, go backstage and get away from kids. You're surrounded by them right now. You're ambushed. You're surrounded. All right, let's take a look at our next zoinked performer. Our next act is a magician. Will he trick our judges into not gooing him? Give it up for Dan Krantz. Dan Krantz? More like Dan Crank. Christmas with the Cranks. Starring Tim Allen. <laughs> I'm chilling with the techno here. We got we got Skrillex in the back. Like, let's go. Your minute isn't quite up yet. Oh, no. no! That act was so good. Dude missed a couple of improv classes. He wasn't able to like keep it going, you know what I mean? He wasn't keep able to keep the excitement and that's why he got swanked. All right, that was Dan Krantz. <laughs> Give it up. You got two. That's not bad. That's not bad. Natalie. It would have been three. You kind of got lucky because I was just about to zoink as your yeah, time no, went up. Oh. Too short, too short. Yeah, the timing, the timing. Neil, if you could send this guy back in time, where would you send him? I'd send him back around the 1800s because you, if we had a show like this, you would definitely not get zoinked. No. <laughs> Is he trying to say that, like, disappearing acts are, were better in the 1800s? What was he, like, magic? That's an 1800s thing. Save it back then, alright? We don't care about magic now. That's old school. Dinosaur age. Uh, okay. Next performer. This next act is going to cry like a baby for the next minute. If you can withstand that without zoinking her, I will give everyone here $1,000, but not really. Give it up for Sydney Calcor. So this girl's named Sydney, and she is labeled as crying baby. Um, I don't know about you, but she doesn't look like a crying baby to me. I don't know if she's crying. She might be crying, but she's definitely not a baby. <laughs> a 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm scared right now. There's something so frightening about a, a, a adult woman that sounds like a baby. There's something really frightening about that. I don't understand. I'm, my heart's racing right now. I'm scared I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night and this woman's gonna be sitting there crying like a baby looking at me. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm gonna have nightmares on, on of this show. How did I watch this and tolerate it when I was whatever age I was? Oh, poor baby. No use in crying over spilled goo. <laughs> no use in crying over spilled goo. Alexa, what would have made this better? I think if you had done it so it wouldn't look as creepy. At first I was like, okay, that sounds pretty cool, but I think that's gonna like haunt me for life now. That's right. See, I, I, make, I make a justifiable point. She agrees. That was terrifying. That was genuinely scary. Okay, we have another contestant. I think this might be the last one. Let's take a look. I promise you that this next act will be a better dancer than this. Hit it. Let's hope so. He calls himself Superman. Give it up for James Murphy. I love this guy. You know what? He's a good guy. Adam Christie's actually a Canadian comedian. Um, his career has been pretty good for him, actually. Um, this is just a random kid show he decided to, I guess, at some point in his career. He's a genuinely very funny guy. Um, and I think that uh, I think that, that was uh, strange, to say the least. James Murphy, he ain't a ballet dancer, he ain't a jazz dancer, he's a zany dancer, all right? <laughs> you, nobody's, nobody's going to the ballet anymore, right? Everyone's going to the zany. That's just the way it is now. 2020, magic, 1800s, ballet, 1800s, jazz, 1800s. It's about the zany now. We live in the zany times. It's a zany world out there. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think that's as impressive as the guy who jumped over a skipping rope with his with his butt. That was very cool. That's nothing. That's that's four. Congratulations, James Murphy. Let's go to our judges, Natalie. Wow, you can definitely dance. That was impressive. Thank you. Thank you so much, Natalie, from before. Wise. Hmm? Oh, whoops. Stop. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> that was his review. He was just like, you know what? I'm not going to give a review. Let's just let my hips do the talking. All right? Let's just let my hips do it. Alexa. That was extravagant. Who can do that? Loving it. That was extravagant. Who could do that? Every kid in the audience just raises their hand. Alexa goes. What? All right, let's fast forward a bit into this show and just reach the end of this video because by golly, it's gone way too long now. Let's prepare ourselves mentally, physically. Let's prepare ourselves either way because today, we're gonna know who in this episode is the Zoinked Master. Who's the Zoinked Master? Let's take, let's take a look, okay? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. It's the end of our show, so that means it's time to finally award our Zoink Master with one thousand dollars. These people beside me, these gentlemen, are the top point getters: James Murphy, Rob Patterson. One is the winner, and one is going to be really mad that I made him stand out here again. I should probably also mention that the guy on the right is the magician that I didn't show. I apologize, something just came up. Something just came up, and it wasn't a phone call, and it wasn't an emergency. It was a burp. <laughs> and I'm, I, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of angry that I had the mic right here when I was going to burp, because... You, you probably would have heard it if I hadn't stopped it dead in its tracks. And now your score. 
mathematically a toughie. 39 points to 36 points. If you can add, you might already know. Your winner is James Murphy! James Murphy is our winner! Thank you so much. Thank you so much to our judges. Thank you so much to our live studio audience. I'm your host, Adam Christie. Remember to keep it zany or you might get zoinked, everybody. Bye! James the Dancer. My man. <laughs> I knew it was going to be him. There was no doubt in my mind. I had every shred of belief in that man. Okay? Every single shred. Shred of paper. Take a paper, put it in a shredder. Every shred that appears is the amount of shreds that I had for this man. I shredded this man. <laughs> no, I, I, I really um, definitely believed in this guy. Um, I don't really know where he is now or what he's doing. I hope his career is still pretty good. Uh, I hope he's doing it professionally as a dancer and I hope the other guy does very well too. But I knew it. I believed in you. And that's the ending of Zoinked. It is crazy to come back and revisit this thing um, and to actually see it again. I just, I, I'm like dumbfounded over here. I love it. It's so nice to come back and watch shows that you loved when you were young because there's something special and nostalgic about it. You can't go back to a show that you watched when you were young and watch it with a straight face or watch it with no expression. Unless of course it's a show that you absolutely hated back then. But you know, it doesn't matter what. It's so healthy and it's so nice to take a trip back into your life. And not to points where they were bad, but to points where they were good. When I sat here on Saturday nights um, watching YTV and watching this show, um, it was just a whole new world for me. It was just such an exciting thing. But I really enjoyed this show for what it was. Um, and it's, it's kind of too bad that it lasted two seasons. For kids, it's great. It's colorful. It's got an audience full of kids to be like, you know what, relatable, right? And, um, you know, it's got zaniness. It's got zoinks. It's got goo. Kids like goo. You know, slime videos are very popular, so goo could come back. Goo can come back in the media. You know what I mean? Every movie should have goo. The Irishman, dump some goo on Robert De Niro. It'll make the movie a million times better. And maybe this time it'll actually win an Oscar. Oh! Either way, um, I'm very, 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 very pleased with this episode. I'm glad that I watched this show again. I'm glad I revisited it because I do generally I do, I do genuinely love it. I think it's such, it's so much fun. And I wanna thank you for uh, coming on here and watching this video. If you did make it till the end of this video, thank you. Uh, it's a huge thank you. That's a huge honor for me. I, I'm, I'm very, uh, very happy that you made it till the end and you didn't click off in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna revisit some old shows uh, in the future. I, I think I just, I, I literally just grabbed my nipple for absolutely no reason. Maybe that's just a fight or flight response. Uh, to something. I really want to start getting back into YouTube and start making some uh, fun videos. I, I, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I hope you are. Um, and thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you take your mouse or your finger if you're on mobile. <laughs> we're, not, we're not discriminating over here. Go down to the subscribe button. Don't click it. Don't click it. Okay, now click it. <laughs> uh, leave this video a like, like or whatever they, whatever the kids do on YouTube these days. Have an absolutely fantastic day or night or afternoon. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>